Hi guys, you're tuned in to another episode of the Midnight Prayer Podcast. Follow us on all social media platforms at I Am Church London. And don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe on all major streaming platforms. May God bless you. May the Lord bless you all. Welcome to the Midnight Prayer Podcast. This is I Am Church London and I'm your host, Barry Kevin. Thank you very much for joining us. Shalom to you all. Shalom to your families. May the Lord bless you all. Please invite your families and friends to come and join us to pray. Please do not forget to follow us on the major streaming platforms at Midnight Prayer Podcast. And please do not forget to follow us on the social media platforms at Midnight Prayer Podcast. Shalom to you all. Thank you very much for joining us. We are back for prayer. Our prayers that we do daily from midnight. May the Lord bless you all. Shalom, 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 shalom. So I just wanted to point out that there is a new feature on YouTube which allows you to follow podcasts and you can keep up to date with the latest episodes or all the old episodes of the Midnight Prayer Podcast on there. So if you want to create a playlist, if you want to save your prayers, if you want to share it with other people, please do not forget you can also do this via youtube may the lord bless you all shalom and welcome to the midnight prayer podcast i just wanted to also point out that it's been a year since we've been doing the podcast and thank you very much for all of you guys support all of you guys who are sharing all of you guys who are inviting people all of you guys who are evangelizing thank you very much may the lord remember you for your efforts may the lord remember you for your contributions your input and for the growth of the podcast may the lord remember you all may the lord bless you so i'm going to do the opening prayer and we are going to get started father in heaven creator of the heavens and the earth thank you lord for allowing us to come into your presence thank you lord for this day that you have made we shall rejoice father and we shall be glad within it heavenly father we commit this moment of prayer into your hands and we pray for your holy spirit your spirit of understanding your spirit of truth your spirit of revelation to come and speak to us and to come and guide us and to come and lead us through this prayer in the name of jesus father we cancel and we destroy anything which may not confess your name anything which may not give you glory anything which may rise up in opposition against this prayer we render it void and useless and we send it to the dry places in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Heavenly Father, creator of the heavens and the earth, we pray for your kingdom to come and for your will to be done. Father, bless us, restore us, heal us and sanctify us, Heavenly Father, by your word of truth. We thank you, Lord, in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Shalom to you all, welcome to the Midnight Prayer Podcast. So as you are all aware, we started a new theme yesterday on the first book of Samuel, chapter 1, verses 21 to 22, the tabernacle, and we are continuing this theme and we are going to explore this theme in a bit more depth and may the Holy Spirit guide us. So let's go back to our main text that we started yesterday, 1 Samuel 1 from verses 21 1 the first book of samuel chapter 1 from verses 21 so the bible says i'm reading the nlt version the next year elkanah and his family went on their annual trip to offer a sacrifice to the lord and to keep his vow but hannah did not go she told her husband, wait until the boy is weaned, then I will take him to the tabernacle and leave him there with the Lord permanently. May the Lord bless his word. So as you are all aware, Samuel was a prophet. Samuel was also a judge. Samuel was a miracle child. Samuel was the result of a vow that Hannah made to the Lord. And when Samuel was born, His mother took him to the tabernacle. She left him there. She gave him as an offering to God as a result of a vow that she made during her time of suffering. So I just wanted to point out, dearly beloved, a vow. A vow is a solemn promise. 
And when I mean solemn, I mean it is sacred, it is serious, it is basically dignified. It is like something that's only said maybe um, in ceremonies or something like that. A vow is something that is binding. A vow is uh, an oath. If we read the first book of Samuel chapter 1 from verses 9, it says, let's read from verses 9. This is when Hannah was praying for Samuel. So this is when she was suffering, when she was having her problems with Penina and it got too much for her and she was praying. This is what she said. This is what the Bible says from verses 9. Once after a sacrificial meal at Shiloh, Hannah got up and went to pray. Eli the priest was sitting at his customary place beside the entrance of the tabernacle. Hannah was in deep anguish, crying bitterly as she prayed to the Lord. Verses 11. And she made this vow. O Lord of heaven's armies, if you will look upon my sorrow and answer my prayer and give me a son, then I will give him back to you. He will be yours for his entire lifetime. And as a sign that he has been dedicated to the Lord, his hair will never be cut. May the Lord bless his word. So this is the vow that Hannah made before Samuel was born. And when Samuel was born, everything that Hannah said in her vow, she done it. She done it to the T. Everything that she said from beginning to the end, she followed through and she done all of it. She respected her vow. And this, dearly beloved, is a good vow. This is not a bad vow. It's a good vow. Proverbs 16 verses 3 says to us, Commit your actions to the Lord and your plans will succeed. So Hannah, in her vow, she was committing her pregnancy to the Lord. She was committing her child to the Lord. She was committing his future, his destiny to the Lord, which means that she was laying the foundation already for Samuel. She was preparing Samuel's way already. The word of God says, in John 1 verses 1, in the beginning, the word already existed. The word was with God and the word was God. And we can say the exact same thing for Samuel. In the beginning, the vow already existed. The vow was with God because Hannah made the vow directly to God and the vow was God. When Hannah made this vow, her husband, Elkanah, he was not present. Even though they went to have the sacrificial meal at Shiloh. The word of God tells us in verses 9, Hannah got up and she went to pray. It doesn't say Hannah and Elkanah got up. It says Hannah by herself, she got up and she went to pray. So when she went to do this prayer, she was alone. When she made the vow to God, she was alone. When she was dedicating Samuel to the Lord, she was alone. So it was just words that she was speaking and these words to the beloved it became flesh so we can see here when a vow happens dearly beloved an exchange happens because all hannah wanted was for god to look upon her sorrow for god to answer her prayer for god to give her a son and in exchange she will give that son back but eli was there Eli, who is basically the symbol of the authority in the tabernacle. Eli, who basically is the symbol of the throne, of the person in charge, the top person. He was there. He watched as Hannah prayed. So we're going to talk about that another time about Eli. But I just wanted to talk about the vow that Hannah done. So, which leads me to my question today. There's been vows that have been made. There's been oaths that have been made or sworn. And these things are affecting people's lives today. 
Someone may have wanted power. Someone may have wanted more money, a job, or they just wanted to control people, or they just wanted to do something, or they wanted to, I don't even know. And they went and made a vow to a spirit, a deity, a totem, a divinity, an idol, so they can get what they want and in exchange they can give they can sacrifice or they can give as an offering whatever they have that is special to them or that is sacred to them and this is how these things work dearly beloved you do not have to be present and words are being pronounced words are being spoken in your name in the name of your home in the name of your family and these words, dearly beloved, is connected to you through your blood or is connected to you through alliances or is connected to you sexually or is connected to you in your dreams. And dearly beloved, we need to break these things. Jesus is saying to the disciples in Matthew 5 verses 33, you have also heard that our ancestors were told you must not break your vows you must carry out the vows you make to the lord dearly beloved most of our ancestors well the majority they were not praying to the real god they were not worshiping the real god they were not giving sacrifices to the real god and dearly beloved these acts, these sins have brought down curses upon curses upon curses down the generations. And dearly beloved, now is the time to break these things. Now is the time to say it's done, it's over. Dearly beloved, vows can be broken. There are vows that should not be broken, but like for example, wedding vows, which is a positive vow, that shouldn't be broken. Things that are ordained by God, it shouldn't be broken. But any vow that requires you to sin, that requires you to fall into sin, or that makes you turn away from God, that vow must be broken. Any vow that does not align with the word of God, or any vow that's putting you in a position where that you are in communion with the enemy, that vow has to be broken. Dearly beloved, it doesn't matter even if you know that you've done something that is bad, if you've done something that is wrong. The Bible says to us in 1 Samuel 2, 25, if someone, 1 Samuel chapter 2, verse 25, if someone sins against another person, God can mediate for the guilty party. So, if you know that you made a vow to... Uh, an idol or a, a divinity or whatever it is that people do God can mediate for you that vow can be broken any vow that requires you to sin it can be broken do not allow the enemy to manipulate you and trick you and make you believe that you're going to be put to death because you broke your vow with the enemy no Jesus is our mediator the Bible says his single act of righteousness brings a right relationship between us and God and it gives us new life. So there is no condemnation. The prayer that we done yesterday, the declarations about Jesus being the sacrifice, that is a prayer dearly beloved. I encourage you to repeat it as much as you can repeat it as much as possible repeat it those declarations dearly beloved repeat that all the time because samuel was basically what you would call a sacrifice samuel was a sacrifice to god but there are other children other people other families that don't do the same kind of sacrifice they will sacrifice to the enemy and if you know we receive a revelation that you have been sacrificed dearly beloved declare all the time that jesus christ 
sacrificed himself for you. The prayer that we've done yesterday, did beloved, download that prayer, save it and repeat it all the time. That prayer has to be like an everyday prayer for you to cancel the sacrifice or the vow that was done in your origin. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord bless your families. May the Lord bless this word that we have just received. And may this word enlighten us. May this word sanctify us. And may this word deliver us in the name of Jesus. So dearly beloved, let's begin to pray where we are. Father in heaven, creator of the heavens and earth, we thank you. We exalt you, Lord, and we glorify you. We magnify you, Father, and we lift your name on high. In the name of Jesus, because you are the most high God. You are the king enthroned on high. You are the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the ending, the first and the last. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for this day that you have made. We shall rejoice and we shall be glad in your mercy, in your grace, in your protection, in your love, in your victory, in your freedom that you have given to us in Christ Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for allowing us to come into your presence. Thank you, Lord. We are grateful. We are thankful. We are appreciative, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Dearly beloved, begin to pray for the Lord to have mercy upon you. For his word says, all have sinned, have fallen short of his glorious standard. Heavenly Father, show us your mercy. Show us your compassion. Show us your unfailing love, Lord. Forgive us, Father, for everything that we've done which did not give you glory. Everything that we've done which brought sorrow to the Holy Spirit. Everything that we've done which brought us out of your presence. Father in heaven, creator of the heavens and the earth, have mercy upon us, your children, in the name of Jesus Christ. For your word says, in the name of Jesus, all have sinned, have fallen short of your glorious standard. But your word says, if we confess our sins, you are faithful, you are just, Father, to forgive us for our sins and to cleanse us from our wickedness in the name of Jesus show us your mercy father show us your compassion father and forgive us for our wrongdoings in the name of Jesus your word says you are a compassionate God your word says you are a compassionate God you are a merciful God you are slow to get angry you are filled with unfailing love in the name of Jesus father in heaven have mercy upon us in the name of Jesus Christ the word of God says without the shedding of blood there is no forgiveness of sins daily beloved plead for the blood of Jesus to wash you to cleanse you to sanctify you to purify you in the name of Jesus plead for the blood of Jesus for the word of God says we were sanctified through the offering of the body of Jesus Christ for the word of God says in the name of Jesus that we were washed we were sanctified we were justified in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ and the spirit of our God plead for the blood of Jesus to wash you plead for the blood of Jesus to cleanse you plead for the blood of Jesus to sanctify you plead for the blood of Jesus to purify you in the name of Jesus for his word says in Christ we have redemption through his blood the forgiveness of our sins in the name of Jesus plead for the blood of Jesus daily beloved plead for the blood which was shared on the cross for the word of God says he is so rich in kindness and grace that he purchased our freedom with the blood of his son and he forgave our sins in the name of Jesus plead for the blood of Jesus to cleanse your home to sanctify your home to purify your home to wash your home in the name of Jesus begin to invite the Holy Spirit where you are in the name of Jesus invite him invite Invite him, invite him in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, invite the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus, for his word says if you love me, obey my commandments and I'll ask the Father to send you another advocate who will never leave you, that is the Holy Spirit who leads into all truth, in the name of Jesus, invite the Holy Spirit where you are, in the name of Jesus Christ, the spirit of understanding, the spirit of truth, the spirit of wisdom, invite him in the name of Jesus Christ, invite him to take control invite him to reign invite him to rule invite him to dominate in the name of Jesus Christ invite the Holy Spirit where you are dearly beloved in the name of Jesus invite the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus Christ the spirit of wisdom the spirit of truth the spirit of freedom invite him for his word says those who are led by the spirit of God they are the children of God for his word says those who are joined to the Lord are one spirit of him invite the Holy Spirit to give you wisdom 
wisdom, to give you understanding, to give you revelation, to give you insight, to give you discernment, to give you knowledge, to give you strength, to give you authority. Invite the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus. Invite the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus. Invite the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus. Invite the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus. Invite the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus. Invite the Holy Spirit. Invite the Holy Spirit. Invite the Holy Spirit. Invite the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus. Invite the Holy Spirit where you are in the name of Jesus. Begin to pray, dearly beloved. The Word of God says when you should pray, pray our Father in heaven. May your name be kept holy. May your kingdom come soon and may your will be done here on earth as it is in heaven. Pray for the kingdom of God, the kingdom of heaven to come down upon you, upon your home, upon your family in the name of Jesus. Pray for the kingdom of heaven, the kingdom of God, the kingdom of Jesus Christ to come down upon you, upon your home upon your family in the name of Jesus Father in heaven send down your kingdom may your kingdom come may your kingdom come may your kingdom come may your will be done for my life for my family may your will be done for my home in the name of Jesus may your will be done for my destiny in the name of Jesus pray dearly beloved for the kingdom of God to come down upon you pray dearly beloved for the kingdom of God to come down upon your family upon your destiny in the name of Jesus pray dearly beloved for the kingdom of God, the kingdom of Jesus Christ, his kingdom of grace, of freedom, of victory, of favor. Pray for his kingdom, pray for his kingdom to come down upon you in the name of Jesus, the kingdom of his mercy, his unfailing love. Pray for his kingdom, for his reign, for his glory to come down upon you and pray dearly beloved for his will to be done, for his will to be fulfilled, for his will to be accomplished, for his promises to be fulfilled in your life in the name of Jesus. Father in heaven, send down your kingdom, send down your kingdom, send down your kingdom, send down your kingdom in the name of Jesus, send down your kingdom, send down your kingdom in the name of Jesus, dearly beloved, begin to pray in the name of Jesus Christ, every seed, every deposit, every point of contact that is inside of me, that is fulfilling, that is carrying out the mission of the enemy, every seed, every evil deposit that is inside of me, that is carrying out the mission of the enemy, the mission of darkness, every seed, every point of contact, every arrow, every weapon that the enemy has planted inside of me and the enemy has planted in my blood that is carrying out an evil mission against my destiny, that is carrying out the evil mission of my origin, I declare in the name of Jesus Christ, thus says the Lord God, it shall not stand, nor shall it come to pass, in the name of Jesus, daily beloved begin to pray where you are, in the name of Jesus Christ, every evil deposit every seed of the enemy every arrow of the enemy every weapon of the enemy that is planted inside of you through your blood that is planted inside of you through your dreams anything that you have eaten anything that you have drank physically spiritually or through your dreams that is carrying out the mission of the enemy that is carrying out the mission of evil against your destiny declare in the name of Jesus every plant not planted by my heavenly father will be uprooted in the name of Jesus, root daily beloved, uproot daily beloved, uproot that seed, uproot that seed, uproot that seed in the name of Jesus. Every seed, every evil deposit, every point of contact, every weapon the enemy has planted inside of you, declare in the name of Jesus, declare in the name of Jesus, every plant not planted by my heavenly Father will be uprooted. Declare daily beloved that the Son of God came to destroy the works of the devil. Uproot that seed in the name of Jesus Christ. Uproot Uproot that seed in the name of Jesus Christ. Uproot that seed in the name of Jesus. Declare, dearly beloved, in that coming day, no weapon formed against me shall prosper. Pray, dearly beloved, every seed, every evil deposit, every viper, every venom of the serpent that has entered my body, it will not prosper. It will not prosper. It will not prosper. It will not prosper. Its mission will not be fulfilled. Its mission has failed in the name of Jesus. Pray, dearly beloved, every seed, every Every evil deposit, every point of contact that is planted inside of you, that has a mission to fulfill, a mission of darkness, declare in the name of Jesus, it will not prosper, it will not prosper, it will not prosper, in the name of Jesus, no evil seed in my blood will prosper, no evil seed in my blood will prosper, no evil point of contact, no evil deposit in my blood will prosper, no weapon that the enemy has planted inside of me will prosper, in the name of Jesus, it will not prosper. It will not prosper.
prosper. It will not prosper because I am the temple of the Holy Spirit. It will not prosper in the name of Jesus because I have been bought at a high price. It will not prosper in the name of Jesus because I no longer belong to myself. In the name of Jesus, it will not prosper because it is no longer I who lives, but it is Jesus Christ who lives within me, declaring the name of Jesus, the viper of the enemy, the venom of the serpent inside of you. It will not prosper in the name of Jesus. No evil seed, no evil deposit that you have inherited through your blood. It will not prosper. It will not prosper. It will not prosper because you are sanctified through the offering of the body of Jesus Christ, declaring the name of Jesus, the seed. It will not prosper. It will not prosper. It will not prosper in the name of Jesus. Begin to sanctify your home in the blood of Jesus. Begin to sanctify your home in the blood of Jesus. Begin to sanctify your home in the blood of Jesus. Begin to sanctify your place of residence in the blood of Jesus. Sanctify your family. Every person in your home that you live with, sanctify them in the blood of Jesus. If you live in an estate, in a flat, dearly beloved, sanctify everybody in the blood of Jesus. Sanctify the entire block in the blood of Jesus. Pray dearly beloved in the name of Jesus. Every weapon, every seed that the enemy has planted in my home that is fulfilling an evil mission, that is responding to the voice of evil, that is responding to the voice of deities, divinities, idols, I declare in the name of Jesus, thus says the Lord God, it shall not stand, nor shall it come to pass in the name of Jesus. Pray dearly beloved, whatever is fulfilling the mission of the enemy, whatever is carrying out the mission of the enemy inside of your home, command it to receive fire in the name of Jesus, command it to be removed in the name of Jesus, command it to receive fire in the name of Jesus, command it to be removed in the name of Jesus. Pray dearly beloved, whatever is planted inside of my home, that is fulfilling the mission of the enemy that is carrying out the mission of the enemy that is responding to the orders the commands of the enemy that is responding that is responding that is responding or that is receptive to the order the command of the altar of the enemy of the thrones of the enemy declare in the name of Jesus that says the Lord God it shall not stand nor shall it come to pass declare in the name of Jesus me and my household shall serve the Lord declare in the name of Jesus in my home nothing will respond to the voice of the enemy in my home nothing will be connected to the voice of the enemy in my home nothing will be receptive to the voice or the order or the command of the enemy I sanctify my home in the blood of Jesus I purify my home in the blood of Jesus I declare whatever is serving as a point of contact as a mirror as an evil television of the enemy in my home I command it to receive fire in the name of Jesus every object that the enemy is using in my home I command it to receive fire receive fire receive fire receive fire receive fire in the name of Jesus declare me and my household shall serve the Lord my tables shall serve the Lord my chairs shall serve the Lord my cutlery my kitchen it shall serve the Lord my basin my shower my toilet my bedrooms my bed my mattresses it shall serve the Lord every part of my home shall serve the Lord pray dearly beloved every object every instrument every furniture that the enemy uses inside of your home as a point of contact as a door as a point of entry command it to receive fire command it to receive fire every object that the enemy uses inside of your home as a hiding place command it to receive fire receive fire receive fire receive fire receive fire in the name of Jesus receive fire in the name of Jesus pray dearly beloved every area of your home that the enemy uses as a point of contact that the enemy uses as a hiding place, as a throne, as an altar, as a place of worship, as a place of meetings, gatherings, command it to receive fire in the name of Jesus. Receive fire in the name of Jesus. Command it to receive fire. 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 Command it to receive fire in the name of Jesus. Command it to receive fire in the name of Jesus. Command it to receive fire. Pray dearly beloved. Pray dearly beloved. Pray dearly beloved. Pray dearly beloved. Pray dearly beloved, my home will not be useful for witchcraft. My home will not be useful for family witchcraft. My home will not be useful.
fool for witchcraft of friends for witchcraft of ex-partners for witchcraft of neighbors my home will not be useful for your witchcraft the son of god came to destroy the works of the devil pray dearly beloved your home will not be useful for witchcraft pray in the name of jesus every object every area that is sacred every area that has been dedicated to witchcraft inside of your home command it to receive fire 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 in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ pray dearly beloved every connection between my home and spirit from the mountains I am breaking that connection off in the name of Jesus every connection between my home and spirits from the symmetry and spirits of the dead of the deceased and spirits from the world of the dead that connection is broken in the name of Jesus Christ every connection between my home every connection between my home every connection between my home and spirits from the mountains from the forest from the jungle pray in the name of Jesus I break that connection I break that connection I break that contact I break that contact I break that contact in the name of Jesus every communion that is taking place in the kingdom of darkness between my home and spirits from the water between my home and spirits of animals between my home and terrestrial spirits between my home and spirits in the heavens between my home and spirits in the symmetry spirits in the tombs spirits in the mountains pray in the name of Jesus that communion is broken that communion is broken that communion is broken that communion is broken in the name of Jesus that communion is broken break that communion dearly beloved every spirit that's connected to my home in the kingdom of darkness every spirit that's connected to my home from the forest every spirit that's connected to my home from the mountains from the hills from the valleys every spirit that's connected to my home from the water every spirit that's connected to my home from the world of the dead from the deceased from animals i am praying in the name of jesus that connection is broken 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 that connection 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 is is broken in the name of Jesus begin to pray dearly beloved every vow every sacred promise every evil oath that was taken in your name that was done in your name that was done in your place that was done before you was born that was done at your birth or after you was born pray in the name of Jesus every evil vow that is influencing my life every evil oath every sacred oath every sacred promise that is influencing my life I declare in the name of Jesus I renounce that influence in the name of Jesus I renounce that influence in the name of Jesus I renounce that influence in the name of Jesus I renounce that influence in the name of Jesus I renounce that influence in the name of Jesus I renounce that influence in the name of Jesus I renounce that influence in the name of Jesus I renounce that influence in the name of Jesus I renounce that influence in the name of Jesus I renounce that influence in the name of Jesus dearly beloved renounce that vow in the name of Jesus every vow vow every sacred promise that was done in your name that was done in your place that was done before you was born that was done at your birth after your birth pray in the name of Jesus Christ renounce 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 that vow in the name of Jesus renounce that oath in the name of Jesus every vow every oath every sacred promise that is connected to me through my blood I renounce it in the name of Jesus 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 every evil vow every evil vow every evil vow every evil oath every sacred promise that has sold me that has sold my life that has sold my destiny to spirits in the water to deities totems divinities idols in the water I am praying in the mind 
mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I break that vow in the name of Jesus. I break that vow in the name of Jesus. I break that vow in the name of Jesus. I break that vow in the name of Jesus. Daily beloved, pray where you are. Every evil vow, every evil vow, every oath, every sacred promise that has sold your soul, that has sold your destiny, that has sold your life to divinities, to idols in the water, to divinities, to idols, to totems in the forest. Pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Break free from that vow. Break free from that vow. Detach your soul. Detach your soul. Detach your soul. Detach your soul. Detach your soul soul from that vow in the name of Jesus. Detach your soul from that vow in the name of Jesus. Detach your soul from that vow in the name of Jesus. Detach your soul from that vow. Detach your soul from that vow in the name of Jesus. 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 Detach your soul. Detach your soul from that vow. Detach your soul from those oaths in the name of Jesus. Every vow that has sold you in the kingdom of darkness. Every oath that has sold you in the kingdom of darkness. Every vow. Every oath that has declared you an offering to spirits, to divinities, to idols in the water. Every vow. Every oath that has declared you an offering to spirits, to idols, to totems in the water. Pray in the name of Jesus Christ. That vow is broken. That vow is broken. That vow is broken. That vow is broken. That vow is broken by the blood of Jesus. That vow is broken by the blood of Jesus. That vow is broken. That vow is broken. That vow is broken by the blood of Jesus. That vow, it is broken. It is broken by the blood of Jesus. Break that vow. Break that vow. Break that vow. Break that vow. Pray, dearly beloved, every vow through your blood, every oath through your blood that has declared you an evil offering to altars in the water that has declared you an evil offering to the serpent that has declared you an evil offering to totems, to idols, to divinities, to river goddesses, to deities in the water. Pray in the name of Jesus Christ that vow is broken by the blood of Jesus for God presented Jesus as the sacrifice for my sins so that I can be made right with God because I believe that Jesus sacrificed his life shedding his blood in the name of Jesus break that vow by the power of the blood of Jesus break that vow in the name of Jesus break that vow break that vow in the name of Jesus daily beloved break that vow break that vow break that vow in the name of Jesus declare it is God's will for me to be made holy through the sacrifice of the body of Jesus Christ. It was God's will for me to be made holy by the sacrifice of the body of Jesus Christ. Pray daily beloved, every vow, every oath through my blood, every vow, every oath from my origin, every vow, every oath through my mother's blood, through my mother's blood, through my father's blood that has sacrificed me to gods, to divinities, to totems, to idols, deities, goddesses in the water. I am praying in the name of Jesus Christ that vow is broken that alliance is broken by the blood of Jesus that vow is broken that alliance is broken by the blood of Jesus pray that vow is broken by the blood of Jesus that alliance is broken by the blood of Jesus that covenant is broken by the blood of Jesus that blood tie is broken by the blood of Jesus that blood tie is broken by the blood of Jesus that soul tie is broken by the blood of Jesus pray daily beloved every evil vow every evil oath that was taken in your name, that was done in your name, that was done before you was born, that was done at your birth that was done, that was done, that was done after you was born, pray in the name of Jesus, every evil oath, every evil oath, every evil vow, through your blood that has sold your soul, that has sold your life, that has sold your destiny to river goddesses, to idols divinities in the water that has sold your life, to Leviathan that has sold your life, to the crocodile that has sold your life to river goddesses that has sold your life to deities that has sold your life to divinities in the water pray in the name of Jesus that alliance is broken that alliance is broken that alliance is broken in the name of Jesus the word of God says Adam's one sin brought condemnation to everyone but Christ's one act of righteousness has brought me a right relationship with God and a new life declaring the name of Jesus it is no longer you who lives but it is Jesus Christ who lives within you 
break that alliance, break that alliance, break that alliance, every alliance that has sold your soul, every alliance that has sold your life, that has sold your destiny to divinities, to idols, to deities, to goddesses in the water, in the forest, in the cemetery, pray in the name of Jesus, that alliance is broken, is broken, is broken, is broken, is broken by the power of the blood of Jesus, that alliance is broken by the power of the blood of Jesus, that alliance is broken by the power of the blood of Jesus, that alliance is broken by the power of the blood of Jesus, that alliance is broken by the power of the blood of Jesus, for God presented Jesus as a sacrifice for my sin, for I was made right with God when I believed that Jesus sacrificed his life, shedding his blood, break that alliance, break that alliance, break that alliance, break that alliance, every alliance that has sold your soul, that has sold your life, that has sold your destiny through blood oaths, through blood vows, break that blood tie, break that blood tie, break that blood tie, break that blood tie, in the name of Jesus, break that blood tie, dearly beloved, declare that blood tie is broken, every blood tie that I've inherited through my mother, through my, through my father, that blood tie is broken, break that blood tie, break that blood tie, every blood tie that is condemning you to evil oaths, that is condemning you to evil vows, the evil vows of your ancestors, break that blood tie, break that blood tie, break that blood tie, break that blood tie, in the name of Jesus, every blood tie that is declaring that I am an offering to the serpent, that I am an offering to Leviathan, that I am an offering to mermaids, I am an offering to serenes, I am an offering to water spirits, break that blood tie, break that blood tie, break that blood tie, in the name of Jesus, break that blood tie, break that blood tie, break that blood tie, in the name of Jesus, break that blood tie, break that blood tie, every blood tie, through my mother's blood, through my father's blood, that is declaring that I am sacrificed, break that blood tie, 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 in the name of Jesus, break that blood tie, break that blood tie, break that blood tie, break that blood tie, break that blood tie in the name of Jesus say blood tie you are broken in the name of Jesus every blood tie that has sold my destiny that has sold my soul to divinities to idols to totems that has sold my soul to deities to goddesses to gods that are not gods that are false gods I declare in the name of Jesus that blood tie is broken in the name of Jesus every blood tie that is declaring that I am an offering to Satan I am an offering to Lucifer, I am an offering to the kingdom of darkness that is declaring that I am a slave of the kingdom of darkness that is declaring that I am a slave of Satan. Declare that blood tie is broken, is broken, is broken, is broken, is broken in the name of Jesus. That blood tie is broken in the name of Jesus. That blood tie is broken in the name of Jesus. That blood tie is broken. That soul tie is broken, is broken, is broken, is broken, is broken. In the name of Jesus, break that blood tie, break that blood tie, break that blood tie, break that blood tie, dearly beloved, break it, break it, break it. In the name of Jesus, in Christ, we have redemption through his blood, the forgiveness of our sins. Break that blood tie, break that blood tie. In the name of Jesus, every blood tie that is condemning you to slavery, that is condemning you to eternal imprisonment in the kingdom of darkness, that is condemning you to spiritual marriages, declare in the name of Jesus, that blood tie is broken in the name of Jesus Christ. Pray, dearly beloved, every blood bond that is connecting you to your father, every blood bond that is connecting you to your mother is broken in the name of Jesus, is broken in the name of Jesus. Break that blood bond, break that blood tie in the name of Jesus. Every blood tie and every blood bond that has sold me as a prisoner, that has sold me as a slave, that has sold me into a marriage in the water, in the forest, in the cemetery, declare in the name of Jesus that blood bond is broken, that blood tie is broken, that blood bond is broken, that blood tie is broken in the name of Jesus. Pray, dearly beloved, every blood bond, every blood blood tie that 
is inside of you, that is inside of you, that is inside of you, that is condemning you to the vows of your ancestors, to the curses of your ancestors, to the to the oaths of your ancestors. Pray in the name of Jesus that blood bond is broken, that blood vow is broken in the name of Jesus. Every blood bond, every blood vow that is imprisoning me in the water, that is imprisoning me in the world of the dead, in the forest, that is imprisoning me in the symmetry, in the mountains. Pray in the name of Jesus that blood tie, that blood bond is broken, is broken in the name of Jesus. It 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 is broken in the name of Jesus. Jesus loved me and he offered himself as a sacrifice for me, a pleasing aroma to God. Break that blood bond. Break that blood tie in the name of Jesus. Every blood bond, every blood tie that is connecting me to evil oaths, to evil vows that were done by my ancestors of my father's house, the ancestors of my mother's house. I declare in the name of Jesus that bond, that tie that has brought curses into my life. It is broken. It is broken. It is broken in the name of Jesus. Begin to detach your soul from every blood bond. Begin to detach your soul. Begin to detach your soul. Begin to detach your soul from every blood tie, from every blood bond that condemns you, that manipulates you, that controls you, that imprisons you, that uses you. Detach your soul from that blood bond. Detach your soul from that blood tie. Detach your soul from that blood bond in the name of Jesus. Blood bond, I break you in the name of Jesus. Blood bond, I am breaking you today in the name of Jesus. Every blood bond that has attached me to the divinities, to the idols, to the deities, to the goddesses, to the totems of my father's house, to the totems of my mother's house. Blood bond, be broken, be broken, be broken, be broken, be broken. Every blood bond that is attaching me to the serpent, every blood bond that is attaching me to Leviathan, that is attaching me to lions, to leopards, to totems, that is attaching me to spirits of the deceased, that is attaching me to divinities in the forest. I declare in the name of Jesus Christ that blood bond is broken, is broken, is broken in the name of Jesus. Break that blood bond, break that blood bond in the name of Jesus. The word of God says Jesus Christ is the sacrifice that atones for my sins, not only my sins, but the sins of all the world. In the name of Jesus, declare that Jesus Christ is a sacrifice that atones for your sins, not only your sins, but also the sins of your family. Break that blood bond, break that blood bond, break that blood bond in the name of Jesus. Declare blood bond of my ancestors, blood bonds of my ancestors, blood bond of my ancestors that is condemning me to poverty, to sickness, that is condemning me to failure, to lack of progress, that is condemning me to celibacy, infertility, that is condemning me to rejection. It shall not stand, nor shall it come to pass. It shall not stand, nor shall it come to pass. Break that blood bond, break that blood bond, break that blood bond, break that blood bond in the name of Jesus. Every blood bond, every blood tie that is condemning me to curses, that is condemning me to, that is condemning me to the evil laws of my ancestors. I am praying in the name of Jesus that blood bond is broken and my soul is detached. My soul is detached. My soul is detached. My soul is detached. My soul is detached in the name of Jesus. My soul is detached in the name of Jesus. My soul is detached. My soul is detached. My soul is detached. My soul is detached. Jesus Christ is my high priest who offered himself to God as a single sacrifice for my sins in the name of Jesus, declare that Jesus Christ is your high priest. Jesus Christ is your high priest who offered himself to God as a single sacrifice for your sins once and for all time. In the name of Jesus, pray dearly beloved, pray dearly beloved, that blood bond that was condemning you to the curses of your ancestors is broken. That blood bond is broken. Curse of sickness is broken. Curse of failure is broken. Curse of slavery, stagnation, regression, celebration divorce polygamy is broken is broken is broken is broken is broken in the name of Jesus break that blood bond in the name of Jesus Christ 
break that blood bond in the name of Jesus Christ. Break that blood bond in the name of Jesus Christ. Daily beloved, break that blood bond. Break that tie in the name of Jesus. Break that tie in the name of Jesus. Break that blood bond. Break it now. Break it today in the name of Jesus. Break that blood bond in the name of Jesus. Break that blood bond in the name of Jesus. Break that blood bond in the name of Jesus. Break that blood bond in the name of Jesus. Break that blood tie. Break that blood tie. Break that blood tie in the name of Jesus. The word of God says God our Father. He knew us and he chose us long ago. Break that blood bond in the name of Jesus. Say blood bond of my father's house, of my mother's house that is condemned condemning me to the curses of my ancestors that is condemning me to imprisonment to slavery God my father knew me and he chose me from long ago and his spirit made me holy break that blood bond in the name of Jesus break that blood bond in the name of Jesus every blood bond every blood bond every blood tie that is connecting you to the oaths and the vows of your ancestors that is condemning you to serve to respect to obey those vows those bonds those laws, those oaths that they made, pray in the name of Jesus, that bond, that tie is broken in the name of Jesus, declare God the Father knew you and he chose you long ago and his spirit made you holy and as a result you will obey him and you are cleansed by the blood of Jesus Christ declare daily beloved, that blood bond is broken, that blood tie is broken in the name of Jesus, pray where you are in the name of Jesus Christ, every blood tie, every blood oath that is condemning you, that is condemning you that is stating, that is declaring that you must serve, that you must obey, that you must respect the oaths, the vows of your ancestors, you must respect, respect, you must obey the solemn promises that your ancestors made to the serpent that your ancestors made to the water spirits, to the mermaids to the spirits in the forest to the family totems, pray in the name of Jesus that bond is broken, that blood tie is broken, that blood tie is broken, that communion is broken, is broken, is broken in the name of Jesus, is broken in the name of Jesus, is broken in the name of Jesus. Declare that God presented Jesus as the sacrifice for your sin. Declare in the name of Jesus. The sacrifice shows that God was being fair when he held back and he did not punish us. He did not punish me. He did not punish you for the sins of the past. Declare in the name of Jesus every blood tie, every blood bond that is condemning you so that you can pay the penalty of the sins of your ancestors so that you can pay the penalty for the oaths for the vows of your ancestors pray in the name of Jesus that blood tie and that blood bond is broken in the name of Jesus my soul is detached my soul is detached my soul is detached my soul is detached from that blood bond from that blood bond from that blood tie in the name of Jesus dearly beloved I want us now to begin to pray every vow every Every oath that dominates you, that dominates me in my father's house, in my mother's house, in the ancestral house. I command that house to receive fire. Command that house to receive fire. Command that house to receive fire. Where was the vow made? 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 Where was that oath sworn? Where was that promise made? Dearly beloved, pray. Where was that exchange made? Where was that alliance made? Pray, dearly beloved, command the ancestral house, the house of your origin your father's house, your mother's house, command it to receive fire, 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 wherever that vow, wherever that oath, wherever that bond was sworn, wherever that alliance was made, wherever that promise was made in your name or in the name of your family or in the name of your home, pray in the name of Jesus Christ, command that house to receive fire, receive fire, Fire, receive fire, receive fire, receive fire, receive fire, receive fire, receive fire in the name of Jesus. Command that house to receive fire, command that house to receive fire. Every house, every house that is a witness to a bond, that is.
is a witness to an oath, that is a witness to a vow or to an alliance that was done in my name. I command that house in the name of Jesus to receive fire, receive fire, Holy Ghost 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 fire to burn that house, to burn that house, to burn that house down in the name of Jesus. The word of God says Babylon's home has been set ablaze and the bars of her gates are broken in the name of Jesus. Pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Command that house to receive fire, 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 receive fire in the name of Jesus. Command that house to receive fire, receive fire, receive fire, receive fire, receive fire in the name of Jesus. Command that house to receive fire. The Lord redeems those who serve him. No one who takes refuge in him is condemned. Command that house to receive fire in the name of Jesus. Command that house to receive fire in the name of Jesus. Every house that is a witness to a vow, that is a witness to an oath, that is a witness to a solemn promise that was done in your name, that is a witness to an alliance that was done in your name, in your father's house, your mother's house, your ancestral house, your place of residence, the house that you was born, the old house. Pray in the name of Jesus. Command that house to receive fire, 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 receive fire in the name of Jesus. The word of God says for our God is a devouring fire. The word of God says for the Lord your God is a consuming fire. Command that house to receive fire. Dearly beloved, send fire to that house. Send fire to that house. Send fire to that vow. Every vow, every oath that dominates me in my father's house, in my mother's house, that dominates me in my place of residence, that dominates me in that house that I was born in, the house that I grew up in, houses that I visited, houses that I went to houses that I slept in, houses that I have eaten, houses where I have drank, houses where ceremonies have been done in my name. I am praying in the name of Jesus. I command the house in the name of Jesus Christ to receive fire, receive fire, receive fire, the fire of the Holy Spirit, 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 the fire of the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus. I command the house to receive the fire of the Holy Spirit. I command the house to receive receive the fire of the Holy Spirit. I command the house to receive the fire of the Holy Spirit. I command the house to receive the vi- the fire of the Holy Spirit. Burn that house, 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 burn that house in the name of Jesus. Daily beloved, pray it might be a house for your case, for others it may be a forest, for others it may be a river, for others it may be a cemetery, for others it may be a house of a witch doctor, for others dearly beloved, it may be a desert, it may be a jungle, for others it may be a tombstone for others it may be a valley a hill a grove a mountain for others dearly beloved it may be a place dearly beloved that is dark pray in the name of Jesus Christ command that place whether it is beneath a tree whether it is beneath a tree whether it is in the wilderness whether it is in the middle of nowhere inside a forest every place where a vow where an oath was sworn in my name or promise was given in my name uh, and an alliance was done in my name. Pray for fire, 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 to burn that place in the name of Jesus. Send Holy Ghost fire, 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 send Holy Ghost fire in the name of Jesus. Send Holy Ghost fire, send Holy Ghost fire, send Holy Ghost fire, send Holy Ghost fire. Send Holy Ghost fire. Send Holy Ghost fire in the name of Jesus. Send Holy Ghost fire in the name of Jesus. The word of God says, Dear brothers and sisters, we can boldly enter heaven's most holy place because of the blood of Jesus. Send Holy Ghost fire. Send Holy Ghost fire to every place, every dark place that is in the form of a forest, that is in the form of a grove, a valley, a mountain, a wilderness, a river, a, a, a river, a lake, a pond, wherever a vow, an oath was done in your name, wherever you were sacrificed wherever an alliance was done in your name send holy ghost fire 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 in the name of Jesus daily beloved Eli was present when Hannah was making her vow daily beloved Eli was a witness Eli was there Eli saw when Hannah was praying 
daily beloved pray in the name of Jesus every witness of the vow every witness of the vow every witness of the vows of your ancestors of the oaths of your ancestors that they done to the enemy pray in the name of Jesus command that witness to receive thunder in the name of Jesus 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 send thunder send thunder send thunder send thunder send thunder in the name of Jesus pray every serpent that dominates me in the form of vows and oaths pray in the name of Jesus command that serpent to receive the sword in the name of Jesus command that serpent to receive the sword in the name of Jesus command that serpent to receive the sword in the name of Jesus command that serpent to receive the sword in the name of Jesus pray dearly beloved every oath every vow that dominates me in the form of the serpent in the form of crocodiles I am activating God's sword of Isaiah 27 verses 1 to come down upon that serpent in the name of Jesus and I command him to be shattered to be shattered to be shattered, to be shattered, to be shattered, to be shattered in the name of Jesus. I command them to be shattered every oath, every vow that dominates me in the form of the serpent. I declare in the name of Jesus, your word says, Father, you gave us authority over the serpent and over the scorpion and over every force and every power of the enemy and nothing shall by any means hurt us. In the name of Jesus Christ, I command that serpent to be shattered by the sword, 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 to be shattered by the sword in the name of Jesus pray dearly beloved in the river in the forest every oath every vow of your ancestors of your ancestors of your origin that dominates you in the form of the serpent in the form of lions in the form of crocodiles in the form of serenes pray in the name of Jesus command that serpent command those totems command those idols those divinities to be shattered to be shattered to be shattered by the sword in the name of Jesus command him dearly beloved to be shattered by the sword in the name of Jesus begin to thank the Lord begin to exalt him begin to glorify him begin to magnify him begin to lift him up in the name of Jesus because he is the most high God he is the king in front on high he is the alpha and the omega the beginning the ending he is the first and he is the last thank him and praise him worship him and exalt him in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth we pray Amen. I'm going to do the closing prayer. Father in heaven, creator of the heavens and the earth, we thank you, Lord, for allowing us to come into your presence. Heavenly Father, we seal this prayer with the blood of Jesus Christ. And we pray, Almighty God, for this word, Lord, that we received. And this prayer, Almighty God, that we just done. May it, Almighty God, sanctify us and deliver us, Lord, in the name of Jesus. You said, Lord, God Almighty, that you answered our prayer and you gave us victory. You said, Lord, God Almighty, that anything that we ask for in the name of Jesus, it is granted. You said, Almighty God, in the name of Jesus, that your word, Father, does not return to you void without it accomplishing what you please, Father. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for the oaths, Father, that you have broken, the vows, Lord, that you have broken, the vows which were secret, that you have exposed, that you have revealed. We thank you, Almighty God, for you, Lord God Almighty, have given us revelation. You have given us wisdom. You have given us discernment. You have given us insight and you have given us knowledge. We thank you, Lord. We commit, Father, our night into your hands. We commit, Heavenly Father, our dreams into your hands father in heaven every dream of manipulation every dream of deception every dream father of darkness every dream that has been sent from altars from thrones from evil spirits from points of contact every dreams transferred from the kingdom of darkness we cancel it in the name of jesus and we ban it in the name of jesus and we return it back to the sender in the name of jesus every dream that is not
not from you, Lord God Almighty. We declare it in the name of Jesus. It is banned and it will not come to us in the name of Jesus Christ. Holy Spirit, speak to us. Holy Spirit, reveal to us everything that is secret. Holy Spirit, reveal to us everything that is not known. Holy Spirit of the Lord, manifest your power. And we pray for the protection of the blood of Jesus to cover our homes, to cover our families. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Shalom to you all. May the Lord bless you. Thank you to those of you who joined us. Thank you to those of you who shared the stream. Those of you who invited your families and friends. May the Lord bless you all. We are now in our new theme, the tabernacle. And we are going to carry on with this theme for a while. And we are going to allow the Holy Spirit to guide us. And for the Holy Spirit to lead us. And we are going to break these vows, these covenants, these oaths, these alliances that were done in our names. We are going to break these things. We're going to break these ties in the mighty name of Jesus. Please do not forget to follow us on the major streaming platforms at Midnight Prayer Podcast. Please do not forget to follow us on also the social media platforms at Midnight Prayer Podcast. May the Lord bless you all. Shalom to you all where you are. I will see you guys tomorrow at 6 p.m. for our church service at I am and I will see you guys tomorrow at midnight for another episode of the Midnight Prayer Podcast. May the Lord bless you all. Shalom to you all. Goodbye.